Okay. Uh, hi everyone. I managed to fuck up my first um, recording session for Doom Eternal because I tried something new without sound checking because I'm new to this. So, um, yeah, we have no sound. I was gonna, like, actually leave this without any recording at all. Uh, any voicing, voicing commentary at all because I thought, oh, like, you know, I ummed and ahed about it and I thought to myself, you know what, like, people like Doom, people don't want to hear me talking bullshit over it and I thought, okay, like, you know, we'll just do the audio and then if I want to add a post commentary, I would. Turns out I managed to record it without any audio at all. So now it's going to sound really weird. It's going to be completely like a weird silent movie if I upload it without anything. So it's a shame you're going to miss out on a lot of like the uh, sound design, which is fucking awesome for this. So for the next play sessions, yeah, I won't. I would have to do go back to the old method of recording. Yeah. I forgot that if you do things a certain way with certain like record screen recording things, it just goes, hey, even if it's playing to you whilst you're playing it, it just like somehow edits out the game sounds to stop a feedback loop. But like, <sighs> I've got to think of a new way of doing the shitty setup I have at the moment. It's not very good. So I'm just going to, this is going to be a post watch along. Is your shotgun. Nice in-game like things like this. They showed Doomguy's face a lot in this game. They showed it a lot in 2016 but people were like oh he's still a faceless kind of guy so they're making an even bigger point of going look he's got a face. Making him like more like yeah he's like BJ Blazkowicz. He has a face and he has a character. He's a real person. Because a lot of people assume that he's just like Halo Man's or something like that. He's not. Also, this whole thing is pretty cool. This is his fortress. He has a floating space fortress now. So it just chucks you straight into this area to so you can work out how to run and gun. I'm like, <laughs> immediately fuck up here, you can see. Uh, I'm, I'm playing on Hurt Me Plenty, and uh, this is my very first run in this game. It's been a while since Doom 2016. In fact, it is basically, I actually picked it up in 2018 or 2017. So it's been a while. This is just the tutorial level we're going through right now. <laughs> it's showing off the glory kills. I'm going to try and bury them up for you so you can see all of the brutal shit. I like this. It's got a lot of the brutality, but yeah, C is pretty neat. Feels like, you know that transition you get between a lot of video games where there's a hyper-violent version and it's quite realistic, and then after that they go back to a more cartoony thing? To, so like, we still got the gore, but it's like to dodge a rating maybe i'm not sure what the rating is but i'm pretty sure it's like this is going to be a fucking mature ass game if i've ever seen one but like i notice this with a lot of games over my time of playing video games that the graphics become more and more cartoony so they can get away with more and more violence where everything becomes way more brightly colored but like, looking back at it now it is pretty violent a lot of chains. Like, I'd say they'd be doing a lot more with, like, severing of limbs with the poor bastards trying to stop the chainsaw with their hands and getting their arms shredded as well. They did that a bit in Doom 2016. It's pretty metal. I love these... Where do I get these for my house? These cages full of dead people just pushed in. It's like, jeez. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'll try and find secrets. I won't... I, I already know, because I played this, that I didn't find all the secrets in this game. Uh, in this level straight away, but I found a fair amount for a first run. This time you get different action figures, they're all little enemies, different enemies, not just Doom guys with different colors, so that's nice. I don't know why they put block pushing in. It's like, I don't like block pushing. <laughs> it just feels so like, yes, block pushing. Like, you know what, Doom needs more block pushing. 
need anything, you need to give Doom Guy a motorcycle and more guns. Not block fishing. So yeah, the combat shotgun is actually markedly different from the first game, but it has pretty much the same functional kind of like in terms of they're completely different but they create the same function <laughs> so this is full auto most people use sticky bombs all of the time i just wanted to show off full auto full auto is a good in it's an interesting mod but it eats your ammo much like most gatling things do see here i pretty much ran out of ammo after a few shots of that and it's a bit overkill for the basic enemies because basic enemies take like two hits and die at a medium range and if you just get in their face and I'd say this, there isn't much of a spread for the combat shotgun, you actually have to aim it properly and put the reticle in, because you can see here, I was spraying it like that and it didn't do nothing, because I didn't know what the fuck I was aiming at. You'll see me go into low health quite a lot, because I tend to go in really hard, which is saying that I'm just used to doing something like, you need to fucking glory kill everything and punch everything and shoot them in the face, and then I just end up getting shredded, and I'm like, wait, what, I have to aim the gun? I'll try and improve. I'm going to be doing some off-screen grinding if this game supports me for doing that because I couldn't see it straight away a mission select. I wanted to go back and grind off-screen so that my Doom guy is fully up to date, has all of the shit, has all of the lore and stuff, all of the secrets and all the upgrade points so that we have a like good Doom guy going forwards for the LP's sake. And also so that I don't suck. Yeah, a lot of, I, I love that they gave him a knife this time, like a, you saw it, the Predator kind of style wrist blade thing, which just seems to be there so that they could uh, kind of like mix up some of the uh, glory kills, which is good, because honestly a lot of the glory kills just seem to be action, like this one. That's just from Doom 2016, that's exactly the same. A lot of the actions that he does, straight up just taken directly from the original game, with the new models put in. Not a problem, they were effective, so makes sense, right? That's new, I never saw that in the first game, where he actually punched the head into a guy's chest, like... And he does a lot more knife kills and stuff, which he didn't do in the first game. This decor, man. <laughs> I feel like this is like what Cannibal Corpse's house looks like. Except it also feels like, because it's all barrels and wood, uh, I know they took this directly, like this is actually like a lot of the tile set from Doom 2, Hell on Earth, the original Doom 2, was wood and skulls and it looks like Spinal Stage or like a really rough Pirates of the Caribbean ride. And you're like, kept taking me out of it. This guy is so cartoony in comparison to the rest of the people that I'm like, you know, it just kind of feels out of place. Just these guys, or this guy specifically. All the other Hell Priests look normal. This guy looks like a cartoon, like, golem thing. Just way too, like, animated. You know what I mean? Maybe. Just, you know, hanging corpses on hooks as you do. Yeah. So you can see some really sick shit going on here, like there's big runes on the buildings, there's just a fucking titan demon over here. You'll see mechs later that have like broken down. Really great set dressing. I would say it's great in terms of like they've got really great concept art designs and great art design in general for this game feels way more interesting than a lot of Doom games did, like especially like 3 and 2016 to some degree was very much like here's a space station and then it got really cool in hell, uh, but it was very much a case of that. It does a lot of stuff with the design, but sometimes I feel like it's at the cost of the size of the levels. Sometimes I feel like you're jumping from island to island whilst a huge, massive screenscape that you can't access is around you. Here is the sticky bomb. We'll use that on the next guy, I assume, because I like showing stuff off and seeing what it does. I already playtested both of these mods to just see if I could play the game. 
when I was playtesting, I came across some weird in-game glitches, which I was just like, oh, jeez, don't tell me that this, this game's buggy. I hate buggy. Well, you know, I don't like buggy, and I'd be really upset if my precious Dooms is like a buggy mess because Bethesda couldn't be bothered. Like, you've had four years. <laughs> like, but, you know, how much of that was bug testing? It was only small shit, but it's not as bad as, like, enemies falling through the world very often, just some triggers would be weird, and in some cases some textures just refused to pop in, leaving massive gaping holes into the void, which was only once or twice. I don't think I caught any of them for my playthrough, though. I like that. They have some really cool, like, the enemies shout at you whilst you're punching them in the face, and it's like, just so that you don't feel like, oh, I'm dominating them too much, now I feel bad. Big mech here. Awkwardly positioned pole. You see there's uh, another rune there on the building. It's pretty sick, actually. <laughs> really great design, like I said. It just feels like it's at the cost sometimes of the levels. In this level, it doesn't feel like that, but it feels like on the next level that I play <laughs> that you're like islands in lava and that the environment's like becoming a problem more than it should be because they just want it to be, look, dude, the world's falling apart. And we're like, yes, I get it. But however, being knocked into the lava by enemies for the umpteenth time really stops making me appreciate it because it feels like cheap shit, to be honest. But I am a scrub, so I should just get good. Um, these guys, oh, and this game introduces weak points on enemies, if you didn't know. Um, the Arachnotron, it's the tiny, tiny turret on top which is like a pain in the ass to shoot with the shotgun, and it's like, hey, just throw a sticky bomb at it. So yes, let's throw a sticky bomb at the small giraffe-like thing sticking out the top of it. You see, I've tried several times for this. It would have been easier for me to just sticky bomb its brain, or main body, or whatever the fuck you want to call that, multiple times, because I'd already taken it out, and it hadn't died, and I was like, oh, the weak point means if I shoot it, it die, which for the Kako demons, it does, which is kind of trivializing one of the most iconic characters in the game, but fine. Um, but for the annoying-ass arachnotrons, it just means they can't shoot you constantly from afar, and then they come up and start bothering you up close. So it's just... They're a pain in the ass, by the way. I don't really like arachnotrons, because... Oh, and can we talk about the uh, soldiers? The soldiers are obviously not... Soldiers and zombies are obviously not the same, and the imps have been redesigned a little bit. <laughs> but mostly, you'll notice that the soldiers, you see that just stopped. And in the playtest, it stopped showing me the gate opening, and the guy was just smashing into me. That zombie was just mashing into me because I didn't get the hit in fast enough. <laughs> and it was just like, I'm losing health because of a cutscene trigger, so that sucks. It should not exist, they should stop the character from moving and being able to hit me in that period of time. But anyway, you'll see that the zombies, any possessed humans, they've been reskinned and it's like hearkening back to the classic, like, but they aren't wielding shotguns and pistols like they were in the classic Doom. The shotgunners would have that color, the red armor and the green hair, and they don't have shotguns now. Also, so far, I have not met any of the stupid shield guys from 2016, and you'll notice I didn't start with the pistol. So I feel like that was of something that they probably just had a focus test on, where like everyone goes, the pistol sucks, we hate the shield guys, and they're like, okay. Here is the replacement for the um, assault rifle machine gun thing for this game. In 2016, it was like grey, and now it's red. That's pretty much the only difference. The mods are pretty much the same. I keep trying to press the mod button because I'm like, oh yeah, you know, I want to have my mod and keep forgetting that I just got the gun because, yeah. The infight, I don't know if it's like scripted this time or if they just do it if they hit each other. It feels like I went through this level twice and they were always fighting this way, so I feel like it's more scripted to make it seem like you're just busting in on their good time. That's a pretty sick kill. <laughs> Knife through the neck. Yeah. This game is pretty metal. I felt like Doom 2016 had heavier guitars, though. I'm just going to say for every encounter in 2016, oh, these guys just fucking pissed me off, these guys. It was just like heavy, 
<laughs> kind of like heavy ass gent style guitars and like this is like a little more and obviously you can't hear it because I fucked up but like um it's not as heavy and I wanted it to be as heavy or heavier maybe I can go into the settings this guy like he's just a fucking problem I hate them they don't become easier you just get bigger guns it's like doom 2016 it's like any enemy you have problems with eventually you will find a gun that's more effective against them and like there's the auto map you can see the auto map you'll notice also that the secrets are big question marks this time they're not like little in-game things it's like they just added a big dumb power up which i'm not sure how i feel about but like i guess it's like whatever Look, and also the little mini healths are like the little potions from the original game, the little blue energy drink mana potion thingies. Reminds me of a time I was at a comic book store with my friend and he bought an energy drink called mana potion and it was shaped like a World of Warcraft mana potion and the color, he was drinking it. And I said, how does it taste like? And he's like, this is disgusting. It tastes like farts. So I was like, great. College, everyone. They made energy drinks that were just like horrific. That's a law page. They're literally burning texts now. Here is the one up. Not sure how I feel about extra lives because every version of Doom I've ever played did not give you extra lives in the classic. And it feels like it's like, hey guys, you're a gamer, right? You know what an extra life one up is, right? And it's like, in the original Doom, you just fucking died. <laughs> like what is this <laughs> like you know it just feels like you're trying to harken back to a thing that was just never in the game but you know I get what they're going for kind of it's like kind of like you know not really oh yeah and I fuck up here because I'm like hey don't I go over here there's something shiny and then I look down and then I fall forwards and I see the crack on the left there and I go oh fuck and I kind of yeah because I'm a genius there's a lot more platforming in this game, in this version of Doom. 2016 had a bit. It made more sense in 2016 because it kept it separate from the fight. Sometimes you were trying to platform or you're in a very small area with very few platforming options and fighting at the same time. And I'm bad at multitasking, so I did find that a bit of a gripe myself. But that's my fault. That's my fault for being terrible at the game. So yeah, I'm probably going to do a first run, record that, talk about the technical aspects of this game, get better at the game, show like if I get better at the game and actually have time, I might have time. I don't know if I'm going back to work yet. Quarantine. So, um, yeah, knee to the voice. Uh, yeah, so uh, if I have time, I'll go through everything and like play through it one time on Hurt Me Plenty, badly, and then like after that painful experience for viewers, I will go through and like try and master each level if it lets me mission select and show where all of the secrets are and just try and actually be good and technical at shit. Try and show off some tech. Ooh, yeah, I forgot about this bit never one up. They're actually really helpful for me while I'm griping about them because I'm going through this game the first time and I'm like, wait, what's hitting me? Oh, I'm dead. And I'm like, how did I get so shit? <laughs> like, I used to be pretty good. And now I've gone like, it's been a while though. This is cool. This thing coming up, that was cool as well. But sometimes you just got to punch something until it dies. Look at all of the hellscape. It's Reminds me of the Constantine film with Keanu Reeves, but don't let anyone hear that. <laughs> I picked up the thing. What will happen? There we go. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> that was the chain of events. Great ambush, fucker. <laughs> what was his plan? <laughs> what are these guys' plans? We will herd against one guy. and then, Okay, fine. Have a sticky bomb. You notice the sticky bomb is actually quite effective. It's more effective... I think, although I like the um, explosive shot on the Doom 2016. Yeah, shotgun's pretty good. Shotgun's pretty good. 
it gets you out of a lot of encounters in the base, the early kind of couple things, but, um, you know, I'm just saying here, when do we get the freaking super shotgun? Year sliced. I take unnecessary hits from this environmental hazard, because it's just like, I'm trying to do cool shit, and I'm fucking up, so I back off. Then I go back in and get hit another hundred times, because I'm glory killing, and stuff's still flying when you're glory killing, so... You might not get hit whilst in the animation, but the orb is coming closer to you. <laughs> and I'm just taking hits going, what's a mannequin? What's a zombie? And like the zom some of them are shooting at me and I'm like, are you a mannequin? I don't even know what happened with that guy. He looked like he kind of bit nowhere near me. And it caused me to go into low health, but whatever. See? He's just like, nom. I'm like, okay. Yeah, that, I just took that to the face, that's fucking annoying. UAC are way more, I wish I'd recorded the sound, way more malevolent this time, it's not even subtle, it's not a calming voice saying, oh yeah, always remember, the blind council is always watching. This time it's like, thank you everyone for genocide! <laughs> You're like, wow, you know, like, who is, you know, it feels very much like who is buying it this time, you know. It's not sounding like something like Scientology cult kind of thing. Someone may buy this. It's like, remember, suffering is necessary. Please submit to your demon overlords. And you're like, okay. And like in a really like cartoonishly villainous way. And you're like, yeah, this is bullshit. <laughs> like everyone knows this is bullshit. You hear that out more. Yeah, so uh, this is the extra life thing. I totally did that so that you could see it. <laughs> Not because I fucking hate the Arachnotrons. I'm just bad at fighting these guys until I find a way to fight them. And they take a lot of fuel. In the playtest, I managed to chainsaw one. I'm not gonna... I don't think I do it in this now. I, I lost a second life just because I'm fucking shit. I should just have moved forward and stayed in a nice empty... Oh, there's another one. Oh, oh. Oh, this, and there's like health kit right here, so I just wasted a load of extra lives. Oh, I'm an idiot. Yeah, like I said, I'll play through it properly later. This is my first pass. I literally don't, I'm going in blind because I refuse to like watch other people play through it and then spoil myself because I love this game and this series. So I'm like, nah, I'm not seeing what happens and when. Although the game's menus spoil you on a lot of shit with their fucking model viewer basically unlocking most of the guns in the game straight away. And showing you enemy types you haven't encountered. It's like, fuck you, man. <laughs> I hate it when things do that. So yeah, look, uh, we're going to get this. And this is very much the same again. you got your micro-missiles and you've got like a scope. So it's very much like an exact replacement in a lot of cases. The micro-missiles actually work almost identically. They have a little bit of a difference and they seem more... I'd say more effective, but they feel like they have less impact. Is the grenade. He has a little pew pew cannon on the side that shoots the grenades and stuff. He doesn't throw them anymore. This is the Kako Demon. Some of them are really small for some reason and some of them are really big. They actually have different sizes now for some reason. Or maybe, yeah this one seems quite small in comparison to ones you see later in the game. It's like, shoot a grenade in its mouth, it will eat the grenade, and you'll just get a free glory kill, and it's like, way to trivialize my favorite character, favorite enemy. I did see, thanks to spoilers, in the main menu, that pain elementals are back, bitch. <laughs> I love pain elementals. They're awesome. I will never stop loving pain elementals. They're one of the, my favorite, like... Doom enemies, I know that they're not a common one, and they're just like brown caco demons with arms that shoot lost souls in the second game. <laughs> I really like them. There's also like a guy that feels like literal Satan in the second game. There's like some white demon. If you ever played the original game, the original second game, it's getting confusing. Um, they used to have like this white demon that summoned flames and literally just looked like Satan running around going, oh, I will summon flame, and he was really fucking cool, and, like a super metal. <laughs> yep, 
yeah, I get sick of fighting those guys, those arachnotrons, after a while, and I just start spamming loads of explosives at them, thinking, fuck it, I'm not dealing with you, so I just tend to just empty my, uh... You see that guy kind of went through the door before the door exploded? That's a little weird. I just start, like, unloading every single type of explosive ammo I have. And for this part, though, I forget, I think, that I even have a frag grenade, because I just picked it up and then I never use it. Because <laughs> I'm like... Wait, what? <laughs> it's just like, would have been handy, but he moves around a lot, so I don't, it's no guarantee he would have got caught in the blast. Yeah, I just spam fucking micro-missiles at these guys, because it's just like, fuck off, I'm not dealing with this. I know they have a weak point, I can take out the weak point, but it's like, they're still alive, it doesn't really, and there's still a problem while they're alive, so you just might as well just like, eliminate them. This game is really random, Some later in the game it uh, doesn't open a door for me because I didn't kill every zombie other times. It's like, the zombies don't count, and you're like, okay, make up your mind, game. We'll see that in the second episode, I'm going to cut these up from like level to level. You can see there's a big mech there, and it's like, you see literally, I kept the subtitles on. Your suffering continues to inspire us. Oh, why thank you, I want to work for your company, are you my old boss? So I'm checking for uh, secrets, but I actually already missed one a while ago, I think, or maybe it's later. Look, it's him. You can get little plushies of him off the Bethesda store. I saw it way back and I was like, oh, I'm going to get one. Way back when I was in New Zealand, actually, and I was like, oh, I'm going to get one. But like the Bethesda ones, I feel like there's a chick on Etsy, you know, I feel like there's a chick on Etsy that can probably do a better job. <laughs> you know, just a little cuddly like caco demon and a little cuddly like um, pain elemental. It'd be kind of cute. I forget to look up so that he actually grabs hold of the ledge and then tend to wonder why he doesn't grab the ledge. Yeah, there's this weird panel here, and I never grab hold of it, because I'm like, well, I'm not going to risk throwing myself into the void for nothing, because it doesn't seem like there's anything around. There probably is, though. That's probably what I'm missing. Boom. Dead. You're noticing a lot more chainsaw use. It's because the game seems to be really incentivizing, like, glory killing, chainsaw use, and later flamethrower use. These guys are assholes. They seem to like, they don't feel like a doom enemy. Uh -huh, a tentacle. <laughs> like, oh, great. I'm fighting Squidward now. I managed to miss the, yeah. And obviously that killed the tentacle as well. So I'm looking, you see it's up. So I remember how to get it from when I was playtesting. And yes, I did playtest this and then still fuck up the audio, so <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're just annoying and they become more annoying when you can't see the craters in the floor for where they are. It just feels like a Crash Bandicoot villain or something, you know, like one of those things you just spin away. It's just like, oh, you got me. But you really didn't. <laughs> There's nothing here. I thought there was something there, but like that is the cheat code, they have cheat codes that are on floppy disks, which are like, hey kids, you remember floppy disks? It's like, dude, I'm from 92, and I don't remember floppy disks, so, um, <laughs> like, talking to about, what, 30% of your audience now? <laughs> like, we're fine, I know what they are, and I've held one, and I've put plugged one into a drive and shit, but like, Actually using them as in like knowing what they do and why I'm using them by then it already moved to CD-ROMs You know what I mean? Everyone's like, oh, yeah, you used to be able to play games on this and they look like shit <laughs> And now I just emulate those games <laughs> on my Mac Peak of fucking technology is me emulating Doom and putting a brutal Doom mod on it <laughs> By his gaming PC plays his classic Doom and no, I don't have a gaming PC because my one exploded. Because Hong Kong. <laughs> I 
managed to take a lot of easy hits from these guys, and it's fucking stupid. Because <sighs> this guy just really didn't want to die for some reason, and then I just ignored this guy because I was too busy watching the other guy explode, so... And then this guy's just like, oh, hey, you missed the time to glory kill me, do it all again. If you don't do the weak spot thing on the, uh, the Kakodemon, he will take a lot of damage before he does anything. Before he goes into a vulnerable state. So you just end up doing that a lot. Because it's just like, re it resolves the problem straight away. It's like, and a lot of this is like, quick, resolve the problem as fast as possible. Because it's like high speed game, isn't it? It's like very high speed kind of like action. So you're just like, oh yeah, I meant to do that. If I stick to the wall as they chase me, they'll blow up. Oh, just, yeah, deal with the imp. <laughs> like, zombies aren't really doing that much. Yeah. Stabbed. They don't even have that many cool killing animations, so I was just like, I don't really like that enemy. It's a, it's a newish enemy. It's new to this game if you just play 2016. It's like a mini version of the boss you fight at the end of that game. I just wing. <laughs> I didn't get this secret on the left, so I'm gonna go up now. There's a thing where you fall down the elevator shaft, and an extra life is there, and as we've seen, I take a lot of stupid needless damage, so I need these. Yeah. And I just check the map to see if I've missed anything, but I'm actually looking for ammo, so there's absolutely no point looking at the map right now. I have no upgrades, so if that is an upgrade, I don't have it. Gotta get up there. I managed to fuck it up. So, I don't know what I'm doing. Go up the stairs, you fool. Oh, fine. Yeah, if you're even slightly off with the shotgun, it doesn't seem to do enough damage to put even the basic enemy into a stun state, so you actually have to be on. See, I just fuck up all the time here. I just shot a grenade over the edge there. That's pretty cool. Stab, stab. Yeah, you have to be actually be on point. You actually have to, like, hit things. <laughs> like, you can't just shoot in their vague direction going, yeah, blind fire everywhere and just hope for the best. It doesn't correct you. It just goes, fuck you, you're bad at the game. <laughs> it's probably why I run out of ammo a lot. Because I fire at, like, long range with the shotgun and wonder why it's not doing enough damage. But then I get really up close and miss the shot. So, do with that what you will. And I just shoot the pillar, and then I just shoot the floor beside him. There we go. That's a bingo. Maybe post commentary will help me uh, analyze my own play. Or, oh, but then, you know, future playthroughs, we will not have any sound, so. So, yeah, that's mostly everyone dead, I think. There's that guy down there, but I think he died at some point. Seems to be nothing here. Look, there's nothing, and there's a little helmet which signifies the uh, extra life, and I look at it and I think, nah, I'm all right. So I don't really get, don't really get it. So I'm just like, okay, fine, it's, it's only an extra life. There's a thing here, I thought it was an auto map, it wasn't. It's just a rad ass fucking planter <laughs> or something. <sighs> Arachnotronzo, man. That was a cool kill. Slice off his legs. And I'm out of ammo, and I have to jump over there to deal with these fucks, so that's annoying. <laughs> like, there we go. I got some healths. Oh, and he falls off and drops his health with him, which is really annoying. So I just kind of kill this guy and go, oh, well, that gave me some health back, but you can see I'm pretty pissed. I'm like, where's my health? Um, so I just glory kill a lot because I'm fucking taking needless hits here. Like, you know, I could have shot him once and it would have been fine and I'm shooting over both of his shoulders. And yeah, it's a bit too fast sometimes for me. 
because I'm a fucking crusty old man, apparently. So now we, we go into the Hell Temple. And I managed to fuck up here. And the playtest I didn't fuck up. There's a piece of lore I managed to walk straight by it and get on the lift and go, shit. Because <laughs> my brain goes, you searched this the first time, there's nothing in this room, right? You saw the lore piece there. And I'm like, yeah, there's nothing in this room that doesn't really matter, so I'll just go, and it's just fast travel there. So you can, there must be some form, that's kind of like a mission select, where I can fast travel from place to place. So I should be able to go back and grind off screen later. Yeah, I press this, and you can just see it as we go up the thing. It's just like, for fuck's sake, <laughs> like, you know, because everything, there's nothing else in this temple but that piece of lore. My brain goes, empty, we've been through here, cleared. <laughs> like, you know, and yep. look at these nerds. They remind me of those locusts um, from Gears of War, the ones that are like following Scourge around in two. They look at my dumb headpiece, and I'm like, oh, look, I killed your friend. You guys, punk ass scrubs. So yeah, it's basically the the foreshadowing for the whole game. They're saying it's like, yes, you will have to fight us, and da da da, the prophecy, da da da, you will help us in the end. You will see, you it is prophesized, yada yada yada. Then the big lady comes out, big mech lady, the usual the usual boss in a video game nowadays, which is large, all-knowing mech lady knows where you were last night and knows when you're jacking off. <laughs> usual shit. Uh, oh, I'm all-knowing, and you just want to be like, oh, fuck you, I'm a Luddite. <laughs> technology can suck my dick. Don't you use technology, Doomerine? Shut up! <laughs> so yeah, that's the end of that one, I think. That's the end of that chapter. You see, I missed some stuff, but I got the, all the field drones and the cheat code. Some shit I missed that was real early, and I'm like, really? Okay. Must have been in the first area. Kind of do this rewards leveling up. You unlock new icons and like titles for your online play. You're totally gonna do shit here. It's like, oh, you naive fool! <laughs> I will never play online. <laughs> I will never play online. I'm I'm so antisocial. That's too much like socializing for me. The Fortress of Doom. We're back. So basically, this is like my crib. This is Doomguy's crib. Oh yeah, and the guy talking to you, you can see there it says in the subs is Vega. So if you remember from the first game, Vega's the thing that you help melt itself down to get to hell to stop all of the problems and shut down the well. But you save him on a little hard disk. And now he's your friend because he's like, I regret working for Samuel. He's a dick. They call these zones the Hellified Zones, which is just so fucking awesome. Hellified Zones. And they're like, seems like, and they call them the Mortally Challenge, which is awesome. And they're like, seems like there's a fucking badass guy in a green outfit down there just killing everything. Pretty crazy. Everyone thought he was just a myth. The UAC says that they you know, he's not real. It's crazy. He's just down there wrecking shit. We all thought that you weren't real. Even though there's a fucking spaceship floating around. Literally called the Doom Fortress. I guess they wouldn't know what that's for, though. So, uh, yeah. I, I want to look around the ship, but actually at this point you can't. You can't even take this yet. Like, it's big and shiny, and you're like, what is it? And it won't let you touch it, and there's these little spawn points for, like, weapons and shit. This is the flame thing, the flame belch. Pretty cool. This is 
of the tutorial. Reminds me very much of the tutorial room for Revengeance, if you remember Metal Gear Rising. Uh, you just get shoved in here and it just basically says, look, lab out the shit, look, this is how it works, right? And I'm like, oh, okay. Just press this button. Why I was on that tooltip for so long was I was squinting at my tiny television screen from across my living room going, what's that say? Triangle? <laughs> like, you know, fucking old ass man. Then it says go punch the big shiny thing you were drawn to. And it's a bit more complicated this time. I say more complicated, it's just kind of added several things together kind of thing where you get perks. I don't really like the phrase perks, it feels like Fallout, Ugh, Bethesda, <laughs> and um, yeah, I assume you have to actually now in hindsight do both on each side for you to get the thing in the middle, I was just like, oh this sounds good, I'll get this, and then I got this, because you. All, I noticed I was always running out of ammo, right, and I was like, more fucking ammo, <laughs> like, take less damage if I have more ammo. It's just me reading them. It's a nice upgrade system, there's about five different upgrade systems in this game. Like you're doing this, uh, you're upgrading the weapons, you're upgrading them with mods, then you're upgrading the mods, uh, you're upgrading his suit, you've got the runes back again, and there's something else on top of that that I've completely forgotten now. But we'll see it, because it's tutorializing you quite a lot. There's a lot of stuff, like every couple of levels, it's like, by the way, there's this as well. In case you thought you had upgraded everything, here's some more things to upgrade, and you're like, okay, <laughs> like, I needed more things. Honestly, I just want more guns. I want more things to shoot the thing. I don't really care if, like... Oh yeah, this slight thing will get better, or like, oh yeah, I mean it's important. You can't get in here yet. Can't go here yet, go back. Look, it looks so cool though. And I just kind of look around, see if there's anything else to do, and there's not, so I open the portal to the next level, and it's probably going to cut off now, so. Yeah. Thought it was pretty neat though. Just, yeah. End up using sticky bombs.